accessibility advocates are calling today a milestone and the starting point for an aggressive new campaign. Activists point to the controversy over the ramp at Signs Restaurant as an example of the continuing problems. Our health reporter Pauline Chan has more. Pauline? Thank you very much, Ken and Michelle. Well, it's been almost 10 years since the 2005 Disabilities Act was signed, but with the province's goal of full access by 2025, activists say we're losing sight of disabled issues and may fall short of the target. It has been 20 years since David Lepofsky spearheaded a movement that resulted in the creation of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act. This was an extraordinary moment. All three parties voted for this legislation and all three parties rose in unison to applaud it. He has high praise for the McGuinty government that enacted it in 2005, but a decade later, the blind lawyer and activist says the Wynn government is not living up to its promises. What did that law require? It requires Ontario to become fully accessible within 20 years. Gary Melkowski, the first deaf MPP, and former Lieutenant Governor David Onley were among those honoured at Queen's Park as pioneers in disabled rights. But of course I had to be apolitical. That's the very definition of the job. Well, guess what? I'm no longer Lieutenant Governor. <laughs> and as an advisor to the province, Onley promises to bring disabled issues back into the spotlight. For example, the lack of even a hotline promised years ago to deal with complaints about access. Only points to chronically low employment figures for the disabled, saying employers fear high absenteeism and increased WSIB claims. The fact of the matter is, however, uh, that it's the exact opposite. The job retention rate is higher, it's usually much higher. The absenteeism rate is lower, usually much lower. And the number of WSIB claims is a fraction of a percentage of the able-bodied population. He's proud of his achievements as Lieutenant Governor and before that as a radio and TV broadcaster and he knows there's still work to be done. There's no question that the Accessibility Act in this province is one of the very best acts in the world. Um, and yet, what it's also revealed is that we still have a long, long way to go. The activists at Queen's Park said it's not too late to achieve full accessibility by 2025, but the inaction of recent years must change for that to happen. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.